Hi, last night a customer asked me about WooCommerce grouped products, so I thought it'd be fun to put together a tutorial just on that. So I'm going to show you how to create group products, when you should create them, and then also how you can create stunning group products like the one I'm showing you up on the page. So here we go, hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you at the end for a quick chat. So group products are really where you take similar products and you group them together under a parent product. But the main thing is you can't actually buy the main parent product. Think of the main parent product like a container product. So this is how you go ahead and um, create them. Right, really there are just four, well that was five. There are four <laughs> steps to create your group products. Now remember, this is what we're aiming at here. Step one, you need to create the individual products as you normally would. Step two, you may want to hide those from your main shop page. I'll show you how to do that. Step three, then once we've uh, created the individual products, then we create a group product and bring those products into that group product. And then four, if you do want to take the styling to the next level, then use a plugin like WooBuilder Blocks, which is our plugin. So I'm plugging our plugin <laughs> to create these lovely styles. So here we go. Let's start with step one. So step one is pretty straightforward. You're just going to create uh, your products like you normally would in WooCommerce. So you go to products, go add new, create your product, put in your um, title, your price, all that kind of stuff. But there is one thing you might want to think about over and above that. That is whether you want this product to actually show throughout your shop and search results pages or you want it just to display within the group product. So this is optional, but there's an option over here to say shop only, search results only or hidden. So it's still going to show on your in within your group product but it won't actually show display individually uh, on its own it'll show within the group product so that's an option for you so that's step one let's move on to step two so now we're going to take those individual products and put them into a grouped product but we are going to create a product to put them into so the first step is to go add new product just like we normally would in WooCommerce this is your product title so I'm going to create a uh, Phoenix watch this time, let's say. Okay, but the key bit happens down here in the product data section. Click on this where it says simple product and we want to change that to this option here that says grouped product. Okay, and you'll see this all changes now. And the next stage is to bring those products that we want into that group product. So you click on linked products, then you've got this group product. Um, option here and then you can just select which products you want to bring in now I'm going to bring in a Phoenix watch in here I'm not ex exactly sure which one and then I also want to bring in a waterproof strap now there's no limit how many you can you can bring in here if you want to change the order of these once they're in here can you see you can just drag the order around and that the order you sh you put them in there will actually represent top to bottom on your site this is your short description and then you can have a product image as well. But let me just publish that just so we can see what it looks like. And this will be the base sort of standard WooCommerce product layout. It'll look okay, but it won't look as exciting as perhaps it's going to in a few minutes. There we go. Uh, it's put in my two products. It has this price range here as well. And then if people want to order both of these, they can just click them both and click add to basket. So there, there we go. Next up, I'm going to show you how you transform something a little bit boring to something much more compelling. Right, now it's time to transform this product page, which looks okay, to something a bit more compelling. We're going to be using our WooBuilder Blocks plugin for this, which is not a free plugin. That's a not free plugin alert, uh, but it's really cool if you do want to create really awesome product pages. So let me show you how it works. So. I'm going to go edit product and what we're going to do is turn it into a product that we can customize with Gutenberg. That's how it works. Uh, you'll see a button over here. I've already got the plugin installed on this site. So I click on that. Now you've got a few options here. I'm going to start from scratch just to, because I want complete control over the elements on my page. And you'll see that now transform this into a page that I can use Gutenberg with. Let me just flick back to see what I created here. So the first thing I need to do, sorry for flicking so quickly, is I want to set a background image and with WooBuilder Blocks you can now, which is very exciting, you can set a background image for your product pages which can be really cool. So I've created one here. Okay, that's kind of my base background. 
page. And then I think all I did within here, I added the columns block. I probably added, let me think, I probably added <laughs> that layout, I think. And then in this section on the left, all I did was add some of our WooBuilder blocks. So I'm going to start with uh, the product title block, which is that one there. And you can style all these blocks. So if you want to, you can nip over here and just bump up the text size, or you can choose different fonts as well. I'm a big fan of Georgia, so let's change it to Georgia. Um, actually, I don't, quite, I don't really like that on that. Let's go back to Arial. Um, and then under here, what have we got? Let's flip back. Oh, yeah. So we've got a little short description section here. Let's add that in. That's just a block that we've built. It's called the short description block. Now, I haven't added the price in. There is a price block. But sometimes I think with the group product, it doesn't make much sense to say it's a price range from here to here because they can have different quantities. So it's kind of like, I think just probably just skip it out. Then all we need is the add to cart block, which again is a block that we've built with uh, WooBuilder blocks. That'll bring that in. Now, I'm a huge fan of the outline layout option that we've built into this as well. Um, it'll look nicer once it's actually published. So that's our kind of base left hand. Oh no, we've got something else exciting down here as well. We've got the tabs block. So we've now got a tabs block, which is with a really cool um, layout in. Let me just put some content in there so you can see it. So one of the layout options we've just released is this accordion layout. I'm a huge fan of accordions. We won't see it here until we've actually published it. And then over on the right here, I think all I've got is probably for speed, I added an image. Now I could add the image block, but I think I just want to add the, um, I've got one here somewhere, I think. Yeah, what that means is as a PNG, it means the background will show basically around the cutout, so you won't have any kind of edges there. And there we go, there's my, there's my, my new grouped product page looking a lot more funky than the old one with a little beautiful background image. Now I've obviously I've created that incredibly quickly. I'd probably want to spend a bit more time over that, but it looks pretty cool, right? Uh, so there we go. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, if you can give it a thumbs up, that'd be great. If you want to see more WooCommerce and Gutenberg tutorials, hit the subscribe button because I'm doing more and more and more. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon.